Units of the Syrian Arab Army make new progress, retaking several towns and strategic hills south of the country. The Lebanese Army adopts a new security plan in Al-Biqa, aimed at chasing terrorists and preventing their infiltration. Putin announces reaching an agreement and Normandy summit for a ceasefire in the Ukraine. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. The Syrian Arab army has advanced in the Syrian southern villages, retaking Dar al Adas, Adanaji, Dar Makir, Messiah Hills, Mra'i, Al Arus, and Sirja before proceeding to Inkhil and Jasim, and then moving westward to the Golan villages and the strategic Al Harra Hill. The operation launched on a wide scale by the Syrian Arab Army units in the southern region, during which successive achievements have been realized in the countryside of Damascus, al qunaytira and Bara, has deeply shocked the Israeli enemy who supported the terrorists in those areas. Zionist news media reflected the enemy's deep concern, noting that the danger of this operation is represented in the collapse of those terrorists who have been used by the enemy as an army of stooges and agents in the disengagement area. Israeli Channel 2 said the success of the Syrian Arab army and the retreat of the terrorists is the last thing Israel wants. They added that the terrorists find big difficulties in stopping the Syrian Arab army's attacks. According to many reports and strategic analysis, the big progress realized by the Syrian Arab army after maintaining full control on Deir al Adas, at the Naji, Deir Makir, and the hills along the crossing points between the governorates of Dara, Al Qunaytira, and Damascus countryside, has dismembered the terrorist organizations and cut off their lines of supplies from the Zionist entity and Jordan, which have provided them with logistic support. The UN Security Council votes today on a Russian draft resolution that has been officially submitted to the Council. It calls for stopping the funding of ISIL, Jabhat al-Nusra and other terrorist organizations which are linked to Al-Qaeda and incriminating the sites that buy stolen oil from them and referring them to justice as accessories to terrorism. The final text of the draft resolution, which was distributed among the 15 members of the UN Security Council, also calls on states to take the necessary steps to stop trading with these terrorist organizations. With the mounting threat of terror inside Europe posed by the terrorists following their return from Syria, the German judicial authorities started the trial of a young man on the charge of joining the terrorist ISIL organization in Syria. Representatives of the German general prosecutor pointed out that Nizet S had entered Syrian lands through Turkey last July, was trained on arms, took part in the fight on the side of ISIL, and stayed in Syria till last August, before his return to Germany. Germany admits to the fact that 550 Germans have joined the terrorist organizations in Syria and Iraq. Welcome back. The Lebanese army has started to implement a new security plan in Al Bekaa Valley against any potential attack by armed terrorist groups. Media sources said that a joint force of the army and police encircled the towns of Hurtala and Brital in Al Bekaa, searching for wanted fugitives. Meanwhile, units of the Lebanese army dismantled factories for manufacturing drugs in the two towns. The Lebanese army, on the other hand, has detained dozens of terrorists over the last three days. In the hills overlooking Arsal town, the army detonated an explosive device which was ready to explode near a road in Rasisterje. 
In Iraq, the Iraqi army eliminated dozens of terrorists affiliated with ISIL terrorist group targeting their dens in al-Baghdadi province, west of al-Ramadi, in al-Ambar governorate, in addition to detonating their, destroying their vehicles. The Iraqi army also eliminated 10 terrorists and wounded scores others during a special operation in al-Harariyat region, east of al-Fallujah. In Egypt, one terrorist was killed and another was wounded when they were trying to plant an explosive device near a police center in Aswan governorate. Meanwhile, the Egyptian security forces detained a terrorist cell in Al Giza and confiscated weapons and explosives designed to target public institutions and police centers. Members of the cell admitted that they were affiliated with the terrorist Muslim Brotherhood and were involved in manufacturing explosives. In Alexandria, security forces dismantled an explosive device near a gas station in Rushdi area. Finally, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that an agreement has been reached during the Normandy summit on a ceasefire in the Ukraine to take effect on the 15th of February. Putin pointed out at the conclusion of the summit, which hosted in addition to him French President François Hollande and the Ukrainian President Pyotr Poroshenko and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel in Minsk, the capital of Belarus, that the Special Communication Group for Settling the Ukrainian Crisis has signed a document which included a number of steps to implement Minsk agreements as the four leaders issued a statement in support of these steps. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Karun Kirkjian, but after a short break.